let the first ever summit of the Archie problem commence. That daring Archie, stealing the meteorite. Yes, it's quite a problem. He plans to expand the sea. It already covers pretty much the back half of the game. Agreed. We must stop him. Hello everybody and welcome back to Snapfrex Learner's Walkthrough of Pokemon Sapphire. I was about to say Light Platinum. But today, we have ourselves a special guest. Hello everybody, this is Math Pikachu. Alright, so hopefully this won't be too loud. You know, the whole recording and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I decided to bring him on for uh, the Archie problem. Oh, we got ourselves a Maxi up here. Oh, Maxi. <laughs> Okay, I shall try. Maxi is the greatest. Yeah? And I just love how those Poochianas are like freaking out and just attacking each other. I like how it looks like they're having kisses and stuff. Puppy kisses. Puppy love. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's go up here and fight ourselves the first Team Aqua guy up here. Alright, so Team Aqua... They just seem out of place on top of this volcano. Yeah. Now, I mean, they're surrounded by lava. And how exactly would the meteorite help? Just... Uh, loopholes in the game and whatnot. Yeah, I don't really remember. I think, uh, in Ruby, they were trying to make the volcano erupt and make land everywhere, but I don't know what Team Aqua was trying to do. See, that would make sense. And it wouldn't at the same time. If you make lava erupt everywhere, everybody's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, they probably didn't think that out too well. Like, Mudflat is going just as I expected all crap. Oh no, I just killed everybody. Uh, the, uh, sequel trilogy where, um, Anakin gets burned by the lava. Uh, I was thinking more like, uh, A New Hope where they blow up the entire planet. Oh yeah, they, they destroy Al Alderaan. Yeah. I didn't know you were a Star Wars fan. Well, I've just watched it, like, I've watched the whole thing, uh, once, so I don't know, like... Everything about it, but... I think it's a pretty cool, uh, trilogy, or two trilogies. Yeah. Which do you like better, the Luke Skywalker trilogy or the, I'm just gonna call it the Obi-Wan to Anakin trilogy? Um, I sort of, uh, I liked the, uh, Luke one as a whole better, but I think my favorite uh, movie was the end of the sequel trilogy. I forget what it's called, it's like, uh, Revenge of the Sith, I think, mm -hmm. where it tells, it's like the end of Anakin's story, how he became Darth Vader, that's my favorite movie. I like it too, that was one heck of a fight. I know, it's like nine minutes long, I watched it on YouTube the other day, cause it's just so awesome. Oh, uh, I don't know if you've been following my uh, Sapphire walkthrough, I'm just going to show you my team real quick. I've got a uh, level 32 Combusted, level 32, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Harry Yama, yeah. I think, yeah. Level 23 is uh, Lineoon, and level 30 Wingle, uh, not Wingle, Pelipper, there we go. Pretty solid team. Yeah, so far, I've been, I'm trying to level up uh, Lineoon just a little bit. It's cool that you're using Lineoon. Yeah. I've never seen anybody use Lineoon, and I actually like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, truth be told, he's more of a HM slave than anything, but I'm going to try to keep him going till the end. Does he have pickup? Yeah, he does. But, uh... Oh, that's the best, cause... Yeah. Cause it picks up really get, like, rare so items. Yeah. Like... Uh, forgot what I was gonna say. But anyway, here's Archie. We must stop him. Yeah, so he doesn't kill everybody with the giant explosion of lava. Even though that doesn't make sense. Here we go. Yeah, like, I think he tells you what he's trying to do here. Well, I better pay attention then. <laughs> oh, so it can stop oh, it. Oh, what? So it can stop the volcano and make the volcano erupt? It can do both? I guess it can. It's like an on-off switch. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Oh, uh, yep, it's me. So... I think we're supposed to have the place full of sea. What are we supposed to be, Hawaii or something? Uh, Hawaii is pretty nice, but I don't know if... Oh, well, Hoenn is probably the closest to Hawaii, because there's so much water all around it. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't have enough palm trees. I've never been, and I'd really like to go, but here's some pretty cool boss music, I think. 
Now, Arky has some really cool boss music. And here we go, Mighty Anna, level 24. I think I'm a little over-leveled for this. I'm level 32. Uh, double kick. Even though the Intimidate Rick lowers the attack stat, which I thought wouldn't be an issue. <laughs> yeah, I think he can, he can still deal with it. Bite's not going to do that much. Right. And then he uses a Super Potion. Uh, that, it might knock him out. Possibly. I don't know. I should probably send out, uh, not quite. I probably should have sent out my Hariyama Dar Darmani. And if you know what that reference is, congratulations. I don't, I don't know if you would, uh, know. Uh, I... I don't think I know what it is from. It sounds sort of familiar, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait. That was, uh... This might not be what it is, but it's a... I think that's what Chugga Conroy named his, uh... Donkin. Oh. Crystal. I didn't know that. But he must have took it from the same game I did. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Uh, Legend, Zel uh, Legend Zelda Majora's Mask. There's a Goron on uh, Snow Peak Ma the Snow Peak Mountain that died, and you get his mask and his name's Darmani. Ah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know why I sent out Alphonse, the helper out here. Oh, immediately snapping out of confusion. That's the best feeling. Oh, yeah. Well, not me, but him. That's... Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, that's not the best feeling. No. So, oh, there's the Golbat. You know, I didn't really want to send out my combustion against him. I felt like this would work better. Yeah. I don't know, I'm like paying more attention to our conversations. <laughs> but Archie will be taken down. Let's see about a Super Sonic. Sharpedo is really confusing to me. He doesn't have a tail. Yeah, that, that's what I was confused about. Because in, in all the sprites, they show him like that. And you never see the back of him. So it's, Unless you, it's just like the front half of the shark. I feel like that could be the thing. Oh crap, I used water gun against him. Well, this might get bad. You think so? Like, I always thought the sprite was supposed to be uh, the shark, like, twisting in the air, but maybe that's, like, his whole body right there. It's just a little head that's shooting out at you. Oh, man. That's scary for Pokemon. That is sort of scary. Oh, and don't you notice how... Well, I'm just gonna call him Darmani because that's his name, but you notice how he looks like sort of like a Ninja Turtle? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've heard something about, like, a new Ninja Turtle movie. I think I saw... It. I think I saw something about that. I've never really been a... Uh, into the Ninja Turtles, but I saw something about like. Yeah, I did too. Like in the like in the sidebar of a v YouTube video, a movie trailer yeah. or whatever. But anyway, we have successfully stopped the Archie problem for now. All right. Yes, because my power, my Pokemon are more powerful than yours. Good sir. Yes. Okay, he's gone. Here comes Maxi. How does he teleport like that? <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe they don't teleport. Maybe they just knock you out, and that's why it goes black. And then when you that, come back, uh, that's a scary thought. Just that is a kind of a scary thought. Like, oh man, I just like blew in the microphone. But like, seriously, knocking out a kid—that's uh—it's a little suggestive. <laughs> but anyway, let's take this, because I never really took it in my, like, playthroughs on my own. I never knew you could. Yeah. I didn't know you could either until, uh, I don't know, like, my third or fourth playthrough. Yeah. I found it out because, uh, well, honestly, I found it out because Ninja Free's son did it, too. So, he, he played through this as well. Yeah, I saw a, a couple of the early episodes of that, but uh -huh. I didn't have time to watch all of them. Yeah. I tried to watch all of them, you know, but sometimes he would do, like, training videos on the water, and it kind of got boring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I speed up battles like this one, and our voices are going to be kind of sped up here. So feel free to talk all you want, because I'm kind of curious how your voice is sped up. Alright, <laughs> it probably sounds really weird. I don't know, you'll see when it comes up. I wonder if I'll sound like Alvin. Alvin! The chipmunk. Alvin! I wonder how that's gonna sound sped up. It's gonna be funny. Alvin! <laughs> oh, anyway, Balco is easy. Like, sometimes I can do it subconsciously, like play Pokemon subconsciously without even paying attention, but as you saw on the Archie battle and the battles prior to that, I, I kinda do get distracted. Yeah. Oh well. We just beat up this mountain guy, I don't know why. But we're gonna go down here and beat up this girl, cause this is Pokemon. Yeah, it's fun to beat people up. Yep. So I beat people up, I mean, beat other people's Pokemon up with my Pokemon. Yeah. Wing attack. 
shroom machine. You know, I had never seen a shroom machine used in a walkthrough until I watched Super Lucas' walkthrough. Uh, oh. Yeah, I haven't seen a... The only person I've seen other than him is Super Star Murray. Uh, I don't think I watched his. I saw a little bit of his. I saw a little bit of his heart gold, soul silver. But yeah. that's about it. Swap blue, swap blue, swap blue. I need an electric type for these flying types. If only I had an ice attack. That could work too. I think you get, uh... You can get ice beam as soon as, uh... Surf, which is pretty cool. Um, if I recall correctly, Ice Beam is in the Team Aqua hideout? It's in the, uh, abandoned ship. Oh, yeah. Like the... Gotcha. That's gonna be fun. I wonder who I'm gonna put it on now. Yeah, it's sort of hard to choose, because there are so many water types in this game. Like, half the Pokemon are water type. Yeah. Since half the region is water. Yeah. Here's a mountain guy. What's, what's he got to say? That's true. You couldn't get back easy. Unless you saw yeah. my episode the other day. This one lady, the uh, Aroma lady near Marvel, I went to the right, right? She saw me, she went up the ledge. Like, Holy she's all like, what's up? Want a battle? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is not possible. How, how can you go up a ledge? That is unheard of. Well, you've seen it. Well, no. I don't even know what to say. That's that's just breathtaking. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna relax in the sauna because that sounds like a good idea. Oh, yeah. oh there are old people there. Oh well. I'm just gonna. I think there's a hidden item in there too. That's what I thought too. I'm trying to find it. Huh. Um, I th yeah, I think so. People put Pokemon on hot screens. It might get seriously strange. Why, it might be an electric bath or a bubble bath or even a lava bath. Oh, well, electric bath and lava bath do not sound very pleasant. Electric bath really doesn't either, because water and electricity don't really mix too well. Yeah, so you either get electrocuted or you get burned to death. Yeah. That does not sound fun. <laughs> Huh. Well, I can't find it. Dang it. Oh, I found it. Never mind. I'm, All right. I must not have <laughs> must not have hit it there when I was uh um searching or whatever. But anyway, um I only got about 5 minutes left on this episode. Should I start the gym? Yeah, I think you can take on a few of those people. All right. I'm going to keep Alphonse at the front cuz he's he's our main man here. Oh, and it's all foggy and whatnot. But here's a battle. Yikes, it's hot. Yikes! Yikes, very hot. And you know, like, you know back when you were going to, uh, the Meteorite Falls or whatever? Yeah. I forgot what he's going to But anyway, back when you go to, went to the Meteorite Falls, um, there was this Kindler dude that had a Slugma and a Wingle. He's like, thanks for dousing my fire after you beat him. I thought, oh, yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. Like, he's a responsible Kindler. He has a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah. And all these other people are just gonna let their fires burn out of control. Yeah. Fire isn't nice sometimes. But anyway, slug me down. Would you like to tell my fans about that anime you're talking to me about? Uh, sure. Um, so, if you are into anime, there's one called Attack on Titan. It started airing about April, I think. And, and it's almost near the end. Yeah, it's about these titans who... Basically, they eat humans, and uh, humanity has almost gone extinct. They just have, like, a little bit of land, and they've made these three walls to protect themselves from the Titans. And the main character, Aaron Yager, and his foster sister, Mikasa, uh... Their mother uh, gets eaten one day because the Titans breached the walls for the first time in, like, a hundred years. Because this gigantic Titan appeared, one that was taller than the walls, which supposed to be impossible. So yeah, uh, his mother gets eaten, so he has like this vendetta against the Titans. He's like, I gotta kill all the Titans. So he joins the, the military, I guess, and he joins the Survey Corps, and basically their job is to use this maneuver gear to uh, get high enough to hit the Titans' weak spot. spot on the back of their necks and kill them, but yeah, that's the main premise, and 
they're trying to get, like, the wall that they lost back. They're trying to reclaim their territory and figure out the secrets of the Titans. And how they came into existence so they can defeat them once and for all. And that is your trailer for the day. There you go, trailer for the day from Matt Pikachu on Attack on Titan. You know, you're making me want to watch it a little bit, you know? Yeah, it is. It's really good. Yeah. And I'm going to start watching Full Metal Alchemy. Yeah, I can't, I can't recommend that enough. We were talking earlier and I was like, it's so good. Sounds like a really interesting idea about, like, alchemy. Mm -hmm. Oh, this guy's all like, I hope Planner Flames are good. Someone's better. <laughs> I forgot, which one of these am I supposed to take? I think, I think you take the left, the left one on the top. Oh, okay. Oh, you are correct. You're a master. Alright. I'm glad I got that right. <laughs> it would have been alright. All I had to do was just go back through it a little bit. This is one of the more confusing gyms in this game. Yeah. I think this one and the one in Moss Deep are the hardest ones to get through. Yeah, because on Sapphire and Ruby, they got the whole the thing loose for you. And yeah. it's sort of a more complex puzzle in Emerald, as I saw when I was still coming with you. Yeah, you have to, like, move the statues around and open the tab. Teleport places. Yeah. Okay, so which one now? I think that. I think it's the top right. Okay. Alright, so it was. I've got a Pokemon Master on my side. And I'm pretty sure this one is the bottom left. Okay. The hot sand does sound a little uncomfortable to me. What about. Yeah, because. You, if you don't have any shoes on or anything and you're on sand in the middle of the day, it can get up to like 150 degrees. Ow, that hurts. My feet just like burn your feet. Yeah. And that's why. Because over the summer, over the summer we went to the sand, the sand dunes in like, I think it's Colorado or Utah, somewhere out west. We went at night so it wouldn't be hot. So it was nice, but then we went back during the day and it was super windy. Huh. There were like 50 uh, mile per hour winds and they were blowing sand on your legs and it like stung because it was going so fast. Ouch. Anyway, I think this is about it. We'll see. And I think this is it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and nobody's there. Okay. Well, I, th right. I think I have enough time to take on Flannery now. Although I right. think I might Let's wanna. Nah, I got this. Puny trainer, how good to see you've made it here. I haven't trusted you with the. No, wait. I am Flannery, and I'm Jim Lear here. I uh, dare not underestimate me, though. I have been leader only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall uh, demonstrate the hot moves that we have honed on this land. Oh my god. Wait, what is your grandfather's blade? I never thought about that. That would be so weird. That would be so log logically correct. That would be just so freaking awesome. I'm gonna look that up later on after the recording. Now I'm curious. Hey, you just beat that Blaine too, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I didn't. I mean, but... I think Blaine's old enough to be a grandfather. Yeah? It, it would be, uh, I don't know, a little easier to determine if Blaine had hair, though. If it was yeah. red, then yeah, I think that could be it. Yeah, but Blaine, poor Blaine, he's all bald. Yeah, he's got that sweet top hat, though. Yeah. And a cane. He's fabulous. Fabulous. Did I literally... Not a I was about to say, did I literally just sweep her team? I think I might. I think you got a good shot with Alphonse. Yeah. Oh, and Alphonse is uh, Edward's brother, just so you know. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 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 I think I'll just shoot him with a water gun here and then heal. Because, yeah. oh, Holy boy, he's dying. I love them crits. Um, I think he might do it the same thing. Wait, my stuff's up here, isn't it? No, that's super repel. There's my sodas. Yeah. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah, I know. Oop, wrong button. Water gun time. What if you get another crit? Oh man, that would be so sweet. A crit here, after this hit, would be so sweet. Yeah. Oh, now I'm paralyzed. Water gun? Question mark? Please? Please? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was gonna be great. Maybe. Oh, I think I got this unless it's paralyzed. Oh, so you're not paralyzed, yeah. Got it. Alright. Sweet, kill both down. Alphonse, just wet the winery. Yep. Unless... Nope, that's what, that was the last one. one. Oh, I guess I was trying too hard. I I've only recently become a gym leader. 
I tried too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokémon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. Congratulations, Flannery. You have just awoken your persona. She has realized who her true self is. I don't bl Good for Yeah, I don't blame you if you don't get that reference. It's from Persona 4, actually. Yeah, that's what I... That's what I thought when you said Persona. Yeah, I love that series. I thought it was from those games since I saw, uh... I think that's in your Twitter yeah. bio. Yeah, yeah, that's where I saw My Twitter picture is the main character from Persona 3, and my Twitter name, aside from my at symbol, is... Uh, the, the main character's legit name, I think. Oh, here's May. Ah, oh, it's May! The girl we're trying to score with. <laughs> oh, nice. You know, the first time I come out of the gym, I thought she was gonna battle me. But like, crap, I'm not ready. Yeah, that'd just be cool. Yeah. Instead, you get the go goggles. Alright. That helps you get through the sandstorm. Yes, and that gets a Pokemon to a fossil. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna use a fossil Pokemon or not. If I was. Yeah, the fossil the fossil Pokemon in this game aren't like the, the greatest ones ever. However, Loomis used it in his uh um in his um crap, what <laughs> I his sapphire walkthrough. I'm tripping over words. <laughs> Yeah, like, once once they're evolved, I think, uh, Cradilly is the best, because Armaldo is really slow, and it's not that great. Right. But, uh, Cradilly is really defensive, which is nice. Yeah. Well, anyway, I want to thank you so much, Matt Pikachu, for co-comming on the first video you co commed with me on this Sapphire episode right here. No problem, it was awesome. Yeah. And we gotta do it again sometime, like, during yeah. another gym leader or whatever. So, I thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Pokemon Sapphire, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you later, guys.